So for me, it is quite specific. I'd say it's very much the racing. Like that is what I live for. That's what I do this for. And you know, it's only a few weeks a year, but as soon as you get to that start line, you just you're just thinking, yeah, this this is why I'm here. This is what I'm doing it for. And it's just that that moment of pure intensity and focus and like cohesion with your teammate. Uh, that is what I love. It's like the purity of it. My family life since I was born has always been on boats of various shapes and sizes and just generally being by the water. Uh, little adventures around the Solent were, were kind of part, part of life. This is where it all comes from. The breeding ground of Olympic sailing is in these optimists. I first kind of got in my own boat in a noppy when I was maybe sort of five or six. I'd always have my mum sat in the front, she's just about small enough to sit in the front of the oppy. And we love racing and competing, we're all naturally very competitive, we compete at everything, you know. Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of character building moments uh, in my time. I mean, every trip we went on was pure carnage pretty much. And I think that's where I've learned to deal with stuff going wrong, you know, we've always had to uh, pick ourselves up and keep going and it's, that was just a part of daily life for us is, is, is it going tits up. Their sense of community is like no one I know, you know, our house, our house has always been a place for anyone to come and they welcome them like family. The community and, and friendship was a huge part of that because we all thrive with each other and, and that's a, a great way to build yourself up, you know, particularly when, when you're down there's always someone to pick you up again and when you're doing well, there's always someone to be excited with you. I called up Twiggy, knowing obviously he'd been retired after Tokyo for two years, hadn't stepped in the boat for two years, but I knew he was, you know, an insane crew. And I wanted to be like, why not? Just give it a shot. I, you're not gonna know if you don't ask, so call him up. So he took a bit of time to decide. I think he had a few things to go over, you know, with the family and, and in his own mind. Fortunately, I managed to, to entice him out of, of retirement and said yes. We did our first camp in Marseille, flew straight out, and man, that was, I mean, that was a baptism of fire for sure. He's a, like, a phenomenal sailor, phenomenal tactician. The only word is excitement. I, I'm not nervous about it, I'm just excited because it's so cool, it's so cool. and. It is something that I've visualised and dreamed about and I take my motivation from for a long time, so like five years now, since I stepped from the 470, that's obviously been the goal. It's just a privilege to be there. Barely any people get to be in this position, so just just so lucky that I've had the support to get up to this point and I can actually go and, go and achieve it. So the, ne the next step for me um, out of school had always been uh, going to med school and becoming a doctor and I was sort of part of it, I had my place and then uh, sailing sort of wiggled its way in there and super inspired about making a difference in, in that field. My mum's a doctor so she's definitely a big inspiration. She's a proper like pioneer and, and leader in her field and woman in surgery so she, yeah, I mean I'm totally inspired by her. And then my dad is farmer, so he, we've already always grown up on the farm and he's balanced raising us with farming. So since I was born, I've been on his back going around sheep fields and doing all the feeding and all sorts. So yeah, deeply connected to the farm and animals and just the natural world really. He's, he's given us that, the appreciation of, of nature and of the living things. I've, I've been very lucky at the support I've had growing up, like quite a, a unique situation of, of how incredible my, my parents are, what an inspiration they are for me. And yeah, I think the main thing for me going into this career and what I've realised almost quite recently is how much of it is the mindset and like your mental attitude to it. And well, I mean, for the whole of your life, it's how you see it, isn't it? And what, how you choose to see things and take opportunities and that's something that has been nurtured into me through how how people around me look at things and that's a I think a big strength of mine and I'll try and take that with me whatever I do